Good afternoon from beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, it's a beautiful, sunny Saturday afternoon today, and we're going to get the boat out on the water with some friends. Uh, we're going to go out the South Fork of the New River from Gott Haven RV Park and Marina in Marina Mile, where we're staying, out to the Intercoastal Waterway. It's about a 45-minute trip to the Intercoastal Waterway. Uh, then we're going to go down the Intercoastal a little ways to Port Lauderdale and out Port Lauderdale to the ocean. Uh, so before we get going, we're going to stop and get some gas and then idle down the river. So here we are leaving the channel at the campground. Um, this is just on the other side of the 95 bridge, which you can see in the distance there. This is Marina Bay, a little restaurant called Rendezvous on the right. It's part of the Wyndham Hotel right there. It's a pretty good spot to stop and get a drink. They've got a nice happy hour. Here we stop at the fuel dock to fill up. 4 55 a gallon on the water. Uh, I dock like an idiot, one day I'll figure it out, look like a professional, but for the time being, uh, I managed to get the job done. Since there was a bunch of other boats here, uh, I got a little flustered and parked the same direction that all of them were going. I should have gone the other way because my gas fill is on the other side, but I guess this makes for a little bit better video. Dragging that gas hose across there, you can see it's a really big high capacity fuel pump, so my little boat, I've got to be a little careful. Uh, I believe it was this day or maybe one of the other days boat came up after me and yelled over hey I need to take on 400 gallons of diesel can you do that uh, I think I took on about 15 or 20 gallons today you're pushing off going under this railroad bridge it's always up until the train is coming uh, this is going under interstate 95 on the other side here is the Lauderdale Marina. Lots of very, very big boats here. It's impressive that they bring these things down the river. According to my depth gauge, most of this is about 12 feet deep right here. Um, I, they clearly dredge it out because uh, it's 12 feet all the way across. This is all marina on the right here. They call this area Marina Mile that we're staying in. Uh, this is the south fork of the New River. This is all wake speed only, slow, so we're doing five, six miles an hour here, following a line of boats. This is a Saturday. Lots of really nice places, really nice boats through here. This is the Davy Street Bridge. Uh, these are all, Most of these are draw bridges. Obviously, I don't need them. The only ones that I can't get under are the railroad bridges that are on grade. I'm going too slow. Uh, my boat drafts a decent amount of water, so uh, if I go faster than what I'm doing right now, I start to kick a, a pretty big wake where a lot of these bigger boats uh, don't draft as much or, or just don't displace as much water as I do, so they can move a little bit faster and throw less wake. This is where the South Fork and the North Fork come together, and now we're just on the New River when we made that right turn right there. This is the Avenue of the Arts Bridge. You can see it just closed to let that boat through. On the left here is the Center for the Arts, and there's a bunch of floating docks right there that are public docks, so you can just tie up, go get dinner, go shopping. Uh, here's the next railroad bridge the Andrews Avenue Bridge. See it's a pretty busy day out here. Uh, a lot of big boats. These bridges are pretty cool to watch. Pretty neat to go under. Get into a little traffic jam here. People get all excited. I'm just trying to hold my spot. <laughs> Not sure what to do. This dock on the right, these floating docks, those are all these day docks. You can tie up, get dinner, some drinks. Uh, I'm just taking my time through here, just following the boats behind me. Can't really be in a rush through here. This is downtown Fort Lauderdale. Not really wide and a lot of big ships, a lot of big boats. So this is all traffic coming in from the intercoastal and, and trying to get out to the intercoastal, going to the sandbars and things like that. Uh, once you get past downtown Fort Lauderdale, you don't have as many boats tied up to the sides. 
uh, you take a little turn here and things really widen up a little bit and you'll start to see some channel markers in a minute here there's one on the left Coming up here, we're, we're fast approaching the intercoastal and we'll need to take a hard right hand turn. Uh, you got to be careful here, there's a big sandbar kind of right in the middle of this open area. Uh, if you're not watching for it, you can see on my left right here, there's boats tied up. Um, but if there's nobody out there, you might not see that. So you want to take either a hard right or continue following the channel markers as you go. So this is the intercoastal, uh, also the Stranahan River. Um, we stop here for a minute to take care of some business and kind of get up on a, a little school of jet skiers. Um, there's another sandbar off to my right kind of behind me there as well uh, that seemed a little quieter than the other one if you're looking for a smaller spot. There's some restaurants, another gas station on my right right here and you really start to see some of the big 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 boats uh, out here. Um, and this is the 17th Street Bridge, really cool bridge. And this is Port Lauderdale, essentially. Um, you can see some freighters off to the right. Uh, I don't think there's any cruise ships here right now, but this is where the cruise ships leave from. There might be one I can't remember today. Um, and here we turn onto the inlet for the Stranahan River and head out to the ocean. Uh, this is the first time that we took the Power Quest out on the ocean. First time it's probably ever been on the ocean really wasn't sure what to expect and it was just an absolutely gorgeous day out here. It gets a little rocky as you can see going out the inlet here um, but once we get through that it really smooths out and it's just an absolutely gorgeous day. We kind of just sit there and look at it for a minute uh, and then decide to go down to the Miami area and haul over uh, and that's going to be my next video here. We'll cruise down to haul over and then take the intercoastal back.